Ron Versiani, and today in Homemade Science, I'm going to start off with a very simple project and then add another element to it, which I think it'll make it a lot more interesting for students. It all started with this picture right here. These are the paint footprints of my new grandson. Now the craft idea was to take a digital picture of this, enlarge it on the computer, and then print them out on a larger size. The pictures were glued to cardboard, and then straws were glued on the back. This roll of tape is going to supply the movement. It has two dowels taped to either side. The straw on the bottom of the foot is simply slid over the wooden axle on each side. To make it move, I simply give it a push. The best distances I'm getting is about 15 feet. I was wondering if we could replace this roll of tape with something else that would be self-propelled. So I thought about a rollback toy. This one was definitely not made for distance. Well, this was a good start, but it only goes about 10 feet, and I was hoping to get a little bit more distance out of it. So I went back and looked at a design that I used in a student project. My students had to build a project that would travel as far as possible on three rubber bands. I built a couple rollback toys as examples. This one set a record of about 192 feet. I also built a smaller version out of a couple CDs and some wooden dowels. On the trials for this piece, we found it covered a distance that was well over 50 feet. The larger rollback toy may fit into this project eventually, but for now I'm going to go with the smaller one and see how this works. Now I did have to make a few changes in building it, so let's take a quick look at the basics. It needs two CDs, two quarter inch dowels that are seven inches long, two quarter inch dowels that are 11 inches long, six small screws, three rubber bands knotted together, a D-cell battery for weight, a small sliver of wood, and some masking tape. So we're getting to a pretty good distance with this, but there's one other change I wanted to make, in that sometimes people don't want to walk around barefoot. Maybe they want to walk in sneakers. For the sneakers, it was the same idea as the feet. They were enlarged and printed, glued onto cardboard, and then had a straw attached to the back. If I wind up the toy too much, it looks like the shoes are running. Now sometimes instead of sneakers, I may want to wear hiking boots. <laughs> now both the feet and the sneakers are pictures that are horizontal to the ground. The hiking boots are just the opposite. They're going to be vertical to the ground, so the picture needs to appear on both sides of the cardboard. To get both images, I started with a picture of a shoe Grabbed one end of the picture and then dragged it to the other side, which gave me the same image, only reversed. I then printed two copies of each picture. These were then glued onto cardboard, cut out, and then attached to straw at the front edge of the boot. A small wire wrapped around the axle can help hold the boot in place.
think the boots are viewed better from the side than they are from the top. How close does this actually resemble somebody walking? We'll take a look. These shoes are in a hurry. <laughs> I just love the walking shoes on the rollback toy. I just think it takes it to a whole new level. Uh, I also think this could be a great challenging project for students. Imagine what ideas they could come up with instead of shoes walking across the floor. Um, if you have any ideas, put them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you can come up with. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching this show, and as always, come back and see me again. Okay, bye. <laughs>